Off Grid Aaron here, Wednesday, January 26th, 2022. Whenever I do these during the day, for some reason, I always seem to do them right around noon exactly. I don't mean to. Just seems to be when I finally get around to feeling like having a chat and spilling coffee all over myself and realizing I need to turn the lid around. It's got a really good seal on it. It does. It's a really good seal. Anyway. Man, if you listen to the news at all, it's Russia, Ukraine. Boris Johnson likes to party. <laughs> dude, have you ever listened to that? I've talked about this before, dude. I'm sorry, the European Parliament is like one of the most obvious joke theater governments ever. They all are, but I mean, damn, dude. Every time somebody's talking to the speaker, rest the speaker of the house, if I, I did it better, and everybody's raw, 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 they literally like rebel, 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 like a bunch of friggin' like dude, apes, dude. We got apes running, running our countries. <laughs> and the shit with Russia, Ukraine, I mean, dude, I'll say this about war, okay? People don't go to war, governments go to war, right? Leaders of governments go to war. How long are we going to keep letting them do this shit to us? I mean, honestly, would you ever start a war with another country if it was up to you? <laughs> I got news for you. The people in every other country feel exactly the same way. But, you know, their governments, oh, we got to go to war with these people and take their shit or not do it because we're not going to take their shit. And <laughs> Dude, it's literally children. We've got children running this country. It's not even apes. It's ch child apes. <laughs> Ape children are running our country. <laughs> They're the most juvenile, insecure little friggin' douchebag bully pricks to ever walk the planet and we let them lead us? What the hell? It's just, come on, people. Come on. This is just stupid. It's like, if you can't t sit down and talk shit out with your fellow man, knowing full well we're all stuck on this planet together no matter what, because, yeah, okay, the only argument for having a war is if you are literally going to completely and totally annihilate your enemy. Like, you're going to kill every single man, woman, and child on the other side. Because if you don't, they will rise up against you at some point and kick your ass. <laughs> and even if you do, you can still screw up at some point and your own people will rise up against you and kick your ass. So it doesn't make any sense. There's no winning with war. It's, it's just a nonstop cycle of losing shit. It, it's stupid. If you think about it, it's dumb. It's a lack of intelligence. Now, video games, war is awesome. It's super fun. I love it. <laughs> But that's where it belongs, okay? We get, we, uh, this, this, uh. You know, you want an argument for there is no God? What kind of asshole God programs his kids to love war? Because we do, we do. <laughs> All you have to do is look at video game titles and movie titles. <laughs> and they are all about war. <laughs> Because it's exciting to blow shit up. <laughs> it's fun to hunt and to be hunted and to overcome and defeat and dominate. But only as a game. Because <laughs> when you do it in real life, the losers are... It, it just. It, I don't know, is that, was that what we're here to do? 
Did we come to planet Earth so we could fight? <laughs> Is it fight planet? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe like reincarnation is just like inserting yourself into different virtual worlds. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to insert myself into a war world where people just fight all the time about everything, no matter what. Then this place makes sense. I should stop bitching about it and go find a gun and fight. <laughs> I don't know, it's more fun in video games, you know, because, you know, you don't actually die, and it's, as, dude, once we get into, like, virtual reality where you can, like, actually be in it, oh my god, it's gonna be so hyper, ridiculously exciting, normal war won't matter anymore, nobody, it'll be, like, old, old shit, we're, like, normal war, pff, that's no fun, you can't do anything there, but virtual war, whoa, way more fun, Yeah. You know? When it first started out and it was tanks on Atari, yeah, obviously that wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> but now we got fucking Call of Duty. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> when, when Call of Duty goes full virtual full VR, oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be a metaverse world we're all hanging out in for show. Ugh. Anyway, I'm just, I, 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 cause you know what's going on, right? Okay. Like the, the governments are losing control of the people. And one of the first things they do whenever that happens is they go to war because it gets us all tribaled up and we just forget everything else. And the other thing is the PS, the military industrial complex still exists. Oh, hey, hey, did you know China has their own military industrial complex? So does Russia and Europe and every country on the planet. Yeah, they all got one. So it's a big money maker. So that's not going anywhere. <laughs> Unless we can get all, all of the military contractors to transition into uh, making virtual reality war games. If we could get them to move into that market and away from the like, you know, live munitions that actually blow people to little bits. <laughs> and I'm sure that's very exciting and fun for some people, but you know, the person getting blown up is not having a good time and, and they don't have any more lives. I, I don't think, I don't know. Again, then again, re reincarnation is true. <laughs> That life really is a video game and you have endless lives and you just keep coming back. That changes things, you know? That's a big deal right there. Like whether or not like reincarnation's a thing or it's a heaven and hell thing or it's a no thing. Like that's that's the main question for me. And it disturbs that's one of the questions that it disturbs me most that people just like believe whatever they're told to believe by the people that they trust when they're growing up. Okay? That's that's what we call it religion. <laughs> but that's really all it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're just carrying on the myths that your parents were programmed with because they were programmed by their parents with it and so on and so forth. Um, but, you know, the reality of it is there's, a, there's an absolute truth on this <laughs> of some kind, you know, and uh, there's a pretty decent chance that none of the current religions really have it right. Um, yeah, I, I want to say that, like, you know, the ones that believe in reincarnation maybe are on to something, but that's just something I want to believe. Like, I, it would be easy for me to say, oh, you know, it's probably likely that reincarnation is true. I don't know that. I want that to be true. It's like, God, I hope that's the case. <laughs> but it might not be. <laughs> yeah, if the atheists are right, then it's, there's likely nothing but you know there's the chance of like the universal spirit and love and yada 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 and maybe you know the universe remembers the idea that no energy ever dies it just transforms um that's at the end of it the you know on a basic molecular level we are all just energy <laughs> um so you know, then you have to get into, well, what's consciousness? And, 
is that transferable? What does it transfer to? How does it transfer? How come nobody's got any real like empir empirical proof of like life after death? And <sighs> we need to know the answer to these questions. <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't really need to. Everybody else seems to be totally fine just believing whatever bullshit they believe. <laughs> I need to know the answer to these questions. <laughs> It'd be nice. I would like that. <laughs> They've searched far and wide around the world, read myriads of books, meditated and prayed and worshipped and called out and screamed for God, please speak to me, God. Nothing. The voices in my head don't count, no matter what you think. <laughs> I don't know, I've had moments where I felt like some other kind of consciousness was communicating with me. But it doesn't, I just, I just that's never going to be good enough for me. I mean, you know, pfft. As far as, like, if you're going to ask me to believe in the Christian Judeo version of God, um, then God should be able to just talk to me and show up as whatever God wants to be. Say, hey, I'm God. What's going on? So, uh, you've been talking some shit about me, Aaron. <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> But to be fair, I've been kind of an absentee father. So, I'm here now. I do exist. Worship me. At which point I'll be like, why? <laughs> At which point God will be like, all right, fuck you. <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> and I go to hell forever and ever. Because apparently the Christians were right. But that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and I have talked some smack about God. You know, and I've read the Bible very, very, very thoroughly. Um, God doesn't like having shit talked about him. <laughs> He's decimated entire cities for less. Hell, he wiped out the entire planet at one point. <laughs> Except for some some few dudes that he really liked who he put in a boat. <laughs> uh, they got every animal on the planet into a boat. <laughs> Good fucking luck. <laughs> That would have been the greatest floating zoo, zoo period to ever have existed, ever, 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 ever. I mean, Jesus. Dogs, where are you, dogs? Come on. I remember when I was like kidding, I was. They, they had it on the news. I don't know if you remember for a minute. They thought they found the ark. And they had all these pictures. And it was supposed to be on the side of a mountain in, like, Turkey or something like that. And then there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, unrest. And so no one was ever really able to go up and look at it. Whatever happened to that? I thought I read somewhere, actually, later on that they finally got to it. And it was like, no, nah, it's not really there. <laughs> it's just a random boat on the side of a mountain. There was a flood, apparently. Um, I have it on fairly decent authority that most civilizations of the world have some kind of great flood story. So apparently there was a major flood because, you know, climate change isn't a new thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, no doubt at some point, especially when the last ice age melted, there's probably a flooding, a little bit of flooding. I mean, shoot, the <laughs> desert up there in the north of Africa where all the pyramids and everything, that used to be a rainforest <laughs> at one point. Now it's bone dry. There's a lot of things that don't make sense. I'd like to know more about what's going up on the poles. I don't know, I got it in my head that the ice is melting and some shit's shown up. <laughs> that they don't want people to see or something, but I don't know. That's probably just movies. Whatever. <laughs> I 
What else is going on? Yeah, Boris Johnson. Psh, whatever. <laughs> uh, who cares if he had a fucking party? <laughs> Queen's pissed because he had... Oh, don't get me started on royalty. <laughs> Queen's pissed because he had a party the night before they had the funeral for her husband, Prince Philip. <laughs> Lots of people probably had parties, and they sure well should have. The end of monarch, the existence, the fact that monarchies still are allowed, that they're still respected and looked at as anything to look up to and respect is absurd. You're talking about the family that colonized the entire friggin' planet. They're literally like the most re recent version of the Roman Empire. Okay. <laughs> And like all every country on the planet has spent the last few hundred years, the United States included, I'd like to remind you, <laughs> getting free from them. It, it's, 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 it's that we give a shit about Europe, and especially England, in any way whatsoever, is beyond me. I am just like, if there was ever an indication that our government was really somehow secretly still beholden or under the thumb of, of, the, of the English monarchy, of the queen and king and queen or whatever, that's it right there, okay? That on top of the fact that, like, we have presidents that are getting knighted and there's also a thing that, like, traces the bloodline of almost every president we've had back to, like, King Henry II or something crazy like that. Some kid looked it up. It was in the news a while back. You had to have heard about it. How come no, no news agency picked out, picked up on that one? It wasn't like she was found out to be lying or something. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just in... Again, I find myself coming back to that. It's like, do just, people just like to be ruled? I don't think we do. I think we, we get programmed to think we like it or need it. We definitely get scared all the time. I love it every time a politician accuses anyone <laughs> of being a fear monger. It's like your entire career is predicated upon fear mongering. All right? If people weren't scared to shit all the time, they would have realized a long time ago what a useless piece of crap you are and that you're starting all of the problems that you now claim we need you to fix. <laughs> That's what politicians do. <laughs> they create chaos and then whine on endlessly about how they need, <laughs> we need them now to fix the problem they made. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, the entire reason that we have problem in the Middle East is because of two things, two things only. A, we fucked with Iran back in the fifties, kicked their leader out and put some Shah in that was tyrannical and horrible. He was basically like the early version of Saddam Hussein. <laughs> oh, and we supported Israel. Which I, you know, say whatever you want about the Jews. The country's illegitimate. It has no business existing. <laughs> the only claim they have to it is a bullshit biblical one. <laughs> Which is lame because every other person who lives around there has a claim to that land on some kind of his deep historical basis. And oh, P.S., before it was made into the country of Israel, Jews were already friggin' living there. Side by side, in peace with Arabs. There was no problem. Israelites were more than welcome to go and live in the land of Israel if they really wanted to. But no, they had to come and take it all over and draw a line and say it's ours and kick out everybody who lived there. Dude, what they did to the Arabs that were living over there in order to make the country of Israel is straight up criminal. What's even worse is that they did it right after getting screwed themselves by the Nazis. They turned around and did a lot of the exact same shit to the Arabs. And I just, wow. 
<laughs> Shoot. That's messed up. Tell me that's not messed up. Tell me that's not messed up. Mm. Speaking of messed up shit, what do we do, the United States? <laughs> Break free from a tyrannical colonizing monarchy known as the country of England. <laughs> and we immediately start colonizing ourselves. <laughs> oh, the America doesn't colonize people. Hey, we have colonies. Puerto Rico, uh, Dominican Republic, or something like that. I know Puerto Rico for sure. And there's, no, there's a few, bunch of them. Um, regardless, why do we have military bases everywhere? Okay, not everybody has that. China doesn't have military bases everywhere. Russia doesn't have military bases everywhere. Not like we do. No, no. It's called colonization. <laughs> and, you know... Again, the cycle, the cycle, vicious cycle, just goes on and on and on. You just like people get screwed and then they go and get free from being screwed and then they go do the screwing themselves and rinse and repeat. <laughs> and that's life on earth. And that's why I think it has to be a video game planet <laughs> where people insert themselves into a virtue of reality where people just fight all the time and I should just get over it and learn how to have more fun with it. And. Yeah, with that, I leave you. <laughs> Have a nice day.